In this example, I need to find the intercepts of the quadratic function f of x equals negative x squared plus 3x plus 10. I also need to write the answers as ordered pairs. Well, how do we find the x-intercepts of any function? We do it by setting y equal to 0, or in this case, that means by setting f of x equal to 0. So I'm going to put a 0 here. So I get 0 equals, then my equation, negative x squared plus 3x plus 10. Now I need to solve this equation. What type of equation is it? Notice the highest exponent on any x is a 2. So this is a quadratic equation that we want to solve either by factoring or using the quadratic formula. Both of those methods require 0 on one side, all the other terms on the other side written in descending order. And I already have that in this case. But before I try and factor it, it's always harder to try and factor with the leading coefficient being negative. So I'm going to multiply both sides of this equation by negative 1, so I have a positive leading coefficient on my x squared. So I get negative 1 times 0 is 0. Now distribute in the negative 1. Negative 1 times negative x squared is positive x squared. Negative 1 times positive 3x is negative 3x. Negative 1 times positive 10 is negative 10. Double check, did multiplying by the negative 1 change all the signs? Yes. So now I'm ready to factor this trinomial. It's one of the easier ones since the leading coefficient on the x squared is a 1. So hopefully these factors come to you quickly, but if not, I'm going to show you a systematic method for finding them in which we compare it to x squared plus b x plus c. b, the coefficient of the x term in this case is negative 3. C is the constant term, in this case it's negative 10. So I need two numbers that multiply to C of negative 10 and add to B, which is negative 3. Since my two numbers multiply to a negative, they have to have different signs. And since they add to a negative, the one with the bigger absolute value has to be the negative number. So I'm going to have 1 times negative 10, those multiply to negative 10, and 1 plus a negative 10, does that give me the number I want? No, it gives me negative 9. Does 2 divide into 10? Yes, so I get 2 times negative 5 is negative 10, and 2 plus a negative 5, this looks good, equals negative 3. That's the number I'm looking for. And since the leading coefficient on the x squared was a 1, these are my two factors. So my expression is going to factor into x plus 2 times x minus 5. And that has to equal 0. Two factors multiplied together equals 0. Set each of them equal to 0. I get x plus 2 equals 0, subtract 2 from both sides gives me x equals negative 2. The second one, x minus 5 equals 0, add 5 to both sides, x equals 5. So this function has two x-intercepts. Don't forget I need to write them as ordered pairs. The first one, the x-coordinate was negative 2. What's the y-coordinate? 0. And the second x-intercept, the x-coordinate is 5, and the y-coordinate again is 0. So there are the two x-intercepts for this quadratic function. Now I need to find the y-intercept. And how do you do that for any function? 
You do it by setting x equal to 0. So I need to put 0 here, here, and here. So f of 0 equals negative 0 squared plus 3 times 0 plus 10. So f of 0 is negative 0 squared is just 0. 3 times 0 is 0 plus 10. So 0 plus 0 plus 10 is just 10. So what are the coordinates of the y-intercept? Remember, x equals 0, and the f of 0 is the y-value. So what is the y-value? It is 10. So the y-intercept is the point zero ten.